in uh, Montreal, Canada after some blessed uh, time in Australia. You know, when I got back to a church in Montreal, um, I walked into the service, you could sense people's hunger. And uh, last night was uh, our, our prayer time, Wednesdays. A lot of, lot of churches in, in North America um, now don't have prayer services anymore because it's in a, the stats on, on churches say that people are attending church um, less and less and less. So churches, modern churches, mega churches are going away from the concept of having um, church three times a week um, to just focusing on trying to have one proper service and um, I recently saw some stats through some popular um, leaders saying how if you can get your a believer to come three times to the church in a month, then you're doing a good job. I, I say, what? All those people that are anti-revival and you know, hey, that's what, that's what God does when we host God and when we put God first and we welcome God, He comes. When God comes, then He draws the people. Because that's what revival does. Revival brings new passion, new hunger, new desire. That's the problem with our generation. We don't realize that, hey, we really do need a visitation from God. And that's all that, that we need to pursue after. I'm at uh, the uh, camera shop here and I feel like a little kid. I can't wait to have a studio like this. All the lights. I want to try this one. So the whole um, Matthew house is um, under a flu. Um, besides that, we had a, a beautiful service this morning. Look at it. Mm -hmm. Carl, all this out. Look, 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 the prodigal son is coming back. Look, look at him. Huh? I knew he would come. Give me a chair. Give me some coffee, I'll sit like an Italian godfather. <laughs> I can't talk to you now. Just um, walking into the next service, it's an Arabic service. Biggest blessing is God's time. If we can understand God's time, we will live a happy life. Because we know if God has not given it to me, He's protecting me from some danger. And it's only a matter of time that God will raise you up to touch the nations. And after that, we have a small um, fellowship in the downtown area. And thank God for other leaders who are covering our French service and the Italian service. So.
love your own enemies. But yet, he gives the ultimate example by dying for us, not because we loved him first, but because he loved us while we were still and, you know, enemies to him. And that is the greatest sacrifice of all. There was one of our leaders, Carlo, sharing at our downtown uh, fellowship um, that we started a couple, maybe a month ago. I couldn't show you the entire thing at the downtown. Um, the power of God fell very powerfully. It's just very overwhelming to see what uh, God keeps doing and very humbled by it. Open your mouth. Good job. <laughs> open your mouth. Open your mouth. Also open. No, 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 let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go. Mozu, no, I said. Let go, Mozu. This guy is strong. Mozu. I said, no, here, here, here. Here, here, here. Here. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's it. All done. That was not an easy task. I don't know how Tini does this every day. <laughs>